In this video, I'm going to show you how to access the value of a variable across different workflows. First, we need to create the variable that we want to reference in other workflows. I'll start by asking the user for their pet's name. So here, in our first node, I'll use a raw input capture card and say, what is your pet's name? Now, let's store this in a variable called pet name. Remember, at this point, this variable is only available within this workflow. Now, let's create a new workflow where we want to access this variable separately. So I'll use the Add Workflow button to create a new workflow called Grooming Services. In this workflow, let's also create a variable called pet name. Now remember, this variable is currently unique to this workflow. It right now has no way of accessing the information that we've asked the user previously. Let's fix that. So on the entry port of this workflow for grooming services, on the right hand side in the inspector window, we should see the ability to toggle this variable on or off. When we toggle it on, what we're doing is telling this workflow that we want it to pull the information or the value of this variable from a different place. That's what we call an input variable. Back in our original workflow, we want to make sure that our user gets sent to the grooming services workflow. To do this, we'll execute the workflow called grooming services. Great. If we click into the card here with the word grooming services on it, the name of our workflow, we now see a field for the variable called pet name. This is asking us what we'd like the value for this variable to be. So now to tell it to pull this value from the current workflow, we'll set it to the value equal to at pet name. This is where we're storing the answer that our user gives us to the question we asked them previously. So now, the variable pet name in the grooming services workflow will be able to access the name of our user's pet. Let's put everything together to make sure that it works. So we'll add a path here, and I'll add a transition card here to guide our user along the correct place. So we'll use a simple always transition, and we'll transition to the grooming services workflow. Great. Now to test it out. To make sure that everything is working properly, I'll send a simple text message here in the grooming services workflow that references the pet name variable. So I will say, ah, so you're looking for grooming services for your pet at pet name. Remember, this is going to work now because we haven't asked the user what their pet name is in this workflow, but we've asked for it previously. Because we've set the input variable already, it should be able to pull that information. Let's test it all out. I'll say hi. I get asked for my pet's name, so I'll say Teddy. We see here in the emulator, I was sent to the correct grooming services workflow, and yet it's still able to pull that information. Cool, happy bot building.